Like running, for many of us, our daily dose of coffee is a ritual. Some might even argue that the coffee ritual is part of the entire running lifestyle. That's certainly the case for pro marathoner Des Linden and her husband Ryan, who are so passionate about coffee, they even have their own coffee roasting company, Linden N2. So today, Des and Ryan are going to demonstrate how to make the perfect cup of coffee. And you're gonna to wanna to take notes, because if you didn't know, making coffee is quite the scientific adventure. And not only is this video about making coffee, but Des also likens the perfect cup of coffee to a specific Brooks running shoe. Also, you all, if you missed it last night, Nate from The Run Experience, Des Linden and I did a live show on The Run Experience's YouTube channel. You should definitely check that out. There's a link in the description below. Be sure to subscribe and tap that notification bell because this is just part one of a two-part how-to series with Des Linden. All right, you all, let's make some coffee. Hey guys, this is Desiree Linden and Ryan Linden, and we're here to do a coffee demo. There's a lot of stuff going on right now, a lot of tutorials on running and stretching and how-tos, and coffee's always been a go-to for us, pre-run, post-run, and so we thought, let's teach people how to make a really good, reliable cup of coffee. We have Linden by Two being set, and Ryan's gonna kinda run us through this uh, tutorial to pair well with the Together We Move program. So, here we go. Like we said, we are Linden by Two Coffee. We're gonna tell you guys how to do a pour over today. Uh, a couple different styles out there. There's a Hario V60, very common one. Um, some of your other styles that you can do for at home one cups are your Chemex, your French press, your Aero press. For us today, we're gonna to use a St. Anthony's Industries C70 pour over. Uh, 70 refers to the angle that the water is gonna pour down into the cup. <clears throat> it's a, one of our go-tos, we really like it because it really helps in like a Kenyan coffee, Ethiopian, Burundi to bring out the brightness um, and the, the profile of the cup. So let's get rolling. Let's uh, filter in the pour over. Filters in the pour over. What's next, Ryan? We're gonna wet it down. And what this does is helps remove all the unwanted chemicals or anything waste that was on the filter in the processing of it. Let it do a quick drain, we're good to go. Does this also warm up your vessel or is that just in my mind? Yeah, it does warm up your vessel. <laughs> all right, and then what's next, let's go. So next on our list, uh, we're gonna take 20 grams of coffee. Um, we're gonna, I pre-ground it already, um, but we're gonna have it down to, you wanna have it looking like your table, table salt. It's a medium fine grind. Um, the, if it's a coarser grind, it's gonna go faster. If it's a slower grind, it's gonna take longer. So we're going to empty out our no, crab. I want that water done. Put it on the scale. Coffee's there, brewer's there, paper's there. Dump our 20 grams in. What's the, why 20 grams? And can you change room to that? Can you play around with that? So you can play around with that however you want. Um, our really kind of go-to thing, recommendation is, is a 16 to one ratio. Uh, so for every one gram of, of coffee, you want to use 16 grams of water. Um, but playing around with it, you can see what one to 14, one to 17 does. It does change the profile of the coffee a little bit to your liking. But the kind of go-to is the one to 16. This is a good starting point. And then as you play around with it, you can start identifying tastes and flavors and um, textures on your mouth and the whole thing. So it's the whole experience as you go into it. As soon as we put that on there, make sure we zero out our scale. We're set to go. Right. We're gonna pour 50 grams of water here in a circular motion. Why just 50? We want to do 50 and what the reason does is it allows it to saturate the grinds and also allow the grinds to bloom and make sure they all get all wet. Like get some air circulating through there. Let that sit for about 20 to 30 seconds. Really smooth. And you can start seeing the aromas coming off of it. Um, this whole process should take about two and a half to three minutes to make a cup here. Now we got that done and sat. Now we're gonna pour again. Nice circular motions in that counterclockwise direction. The gooseneck kettle is great for this because you get a real direct pour. You can see it covering the grounds and just saturating everything and really getting a nice brew going in your pot. You want to do it, try to do it in about two to three pours after that. I usually do, so we did 50, usually do around 110 for the next 110 more grams and another 110 and whatever's left over at the end. 
um, to get the whole brewing process taken care of. Yeah, it sounds like a complex process. We threw a lot of stuff at you, but to really simplify it, head, our, head to our website, um, coffeebylt.com, and we have brew instructions there, and the V60 or the pour over is one of them. So check that out. And Brian's gonna continue this brew, and I'm gonna tell you why this cup of coffee and this specific brewing method is pretty much my glycerin of coffee. So uh, you take care of that because we're going to want to pop it when this is done. So this is, if I were pairing a brewing method with a shoe, it would be the glycerin. And this is a fine all white men's size because I took mine and, um, right out of the box and stepped in mud immediately. I had to get out in them. But this is just a really beautiful ride and um, it's been old faithful for me since day one with Brooks, and it's my go-to. It's always reliable, it's always a good cushioned ride, and uh, a lot like coffee, it's um, something I need every day, and it keeps me healthy and sane, which sounds crazy, but yes, coffee does that, and so does the glycerin. So that is how I view these, and this is why I think this is a great pairing. Pour over with the glycerin. Thank you. Let's pour these cups. <laughs>